welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jasmine the Buffet Witch, but you already knew that because you were already here before. It is just a little bit later than the last video. I decided to do a double whammy today. So here we are with our, what, sixth look, um, using the Juvia's Place Culture 2 palette for my one palette, 10 looks. So I decided to really simplify. I said, how simple can we get? Three shades, is that simple enough for you? One matte, two shins, mascara, and we called it a day. So I'm coming to you with my full face already done. We are wearing the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Foundation. I figured out how to get it uh, full coverage by just applying very, very thin layers and letting each layer dry before applying more. And I was able to achieve phenomenal coverage, the best coverage I've ever gotten with that product so far. And then our blush and highlight is very berry and shiny today. I don't really know how much it's picking up on camera, but it's very glowy. When my husband got home, he said, ooh, you're very rosy. So yes, it's my blush. Um, but for this look, I went with the yellowy. See, in the palette, it's kind of like this weird highlightery green, acid green, I'd maybe say on my skin tone, which is a deep golden with an olive undertone. It's going a little bit more like mustardy yellow and I really, really like it. So, got a little bit of glitter on my face here. So, um, yeah, the lip is very simple. I decided just to use one of my little juicies. This is actually the lip, the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Primrose. I don't know what the big one's called. Oh, the sticker came off. You know what these were called? Whatever. It's a little travel size and it's nice and cooling. I like the color. It's a cute little pinky, light, sheer pink. It's pretty. But let's go ahead and get into this look because it's going to be a really, this will probably be the quickest video. I should do them like this from now on. So we are going to start with the Eye Prep Eye Prime in shade 2. Gonna whack that on. And you might hear my son, my husband, um, they're just about to go out for their walk. Uh, I was going to go too, but you know, now I'm going to stay home and clean up a little bit after this and then lay down with a hot water pad or bottle. Um, my husband calls it a sweater bladder. And then he bought, because I needed a new hot water bottle for the cramps, you know, and he bought me one that comes in a tiny sweater. It's so cute. If, if I remember before I stop the video, I'll show it to you. It's adorable. So I actually call that one, I crossed out the name of it and called it Sweater Bladder <laughs> because that's what he called it. I'm like, why would you call a hot water bottle a sweater bladder? But now, why wouldn't you, right? So yeah. Okay, so we've got our eyeball nice and primed. This is gonna be such an easy look. We're gonna be done in no time, all right? So I think I did put a little bit of primer under, under my eye just because this is a very light color and I wanna give it the most adherence, okay? So this is a super easy look. We're just gonna use a fluffy blending brush going into the color. I think it's pronounced Wawaroba. Mm, I can't say these names. Anyways, swirling in, getting a decent amount. We're just gonna pack this on to the outer portion of the eye. And because it's such a light shade on my melanated skin and then on this bright base, we really are going to pack her on. And what I like about this shade is no matter how much I pack on, it just never looks too much. It's a beautiful shade. And I looked at it and I was like, you know what? Let me use this as my crease color and just see how I can build it up. And I'm thinking the next time I use this shade, we totally should bust out one of the color cases from Bebe Mitchell. So I'm just putting this all over my entire crease area, very haphazard up to the tail of the brow. And then we're gonna bring that all the way in to the lower lash line and the inner tear duct because it's the only matte we're using. Talk about simple, right? 
I love this shade. Oh, it's so pretty. Shush with all that. You know I'm recording. Come on now. And I'm just gonna dust away any excess. Access. Anyways, okay. And then for our brow bone, I'm using Kiwa. I think that's how you pronounce that. And we're just gonna pop a little bit of her right under the arch of the brow. Beautiful, got a nice golden flip to it. And then on the lid, and we don't even need any base for this. We're gonna go back into, I think it's Omegi, I'm not sure but it's this flip. Um, it's giving a blue-brown pigment. So we're just gonna put that on to the inner portion of the eye in that shape that I typically always do. And it's just a beautiful shade, a beautiful combo. They melt into each other beautifully. Um, the colors really complement one another and the textures are just so easy to work with. They're just so easy to work with. This is a phenomenal palette. It really is. This is making me think of one of the shades from the Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace palette. I did, or the uh, Tiny Marvels palette. I did declutter that palette. Uh, well, actually first I um, depotted all of the shimmers and got rid of the mattes. The mattes just weren't fit for me. Not the formula, just the colors. They were a little bit more subdued and um, just didn't give me the punch that I wanted. But the shimmers, amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put that same shade on the inner portion of the lower lash line. Here we go, check our shape. Looks good, it's just a very shiny, but subtle, light, smoky eye, yeah? Yeah. I'm just gonna wing this out a little bit so that there's no, like, base just sitting there hanging out in no man's land. Okay. And that is it guys, I'm just gonna pop on some mascara. I am using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I really like this mascara, look at that, it's beautiful. I don't like the other one that I have. I don't like the Sky High. This one, it doesn't really do very much. This one does. I kind of like it sometimes where my lower lash line gets a little bit messy or like when I touch the mascara wand to my lower lash line because it kind of just makes my lashes look thicker, you know? Or maybe I'm making that up and it looks sloppy. I don't know, but I like it. look guys what do we think I really like it all right well that's it that was easy right under 10 minutes thank you so much for tuning into my channel it's been me Jasmine the Buffet Witch but you already knew that because you retain information like no one's business okay I will see you in the next video and until then you take care bye